Hey guys, it's Rob from Ultimate Diesel Tuning. Behind me is a 2006 NS Pajero, and we tuned this car a couple of months ago, and the owners called past the workshop today to have a chat to us about the vehicle and the experience he's had since it's been tuned. So this is Dee, the owner of the uh, nice short wheel base Pajero. So Dee, thanks for calling past today, but firstly, tell us a little about what you use the vehicle for. Yeah, no worries. So I bought this car originally to tow my small camper trailer yes. and I needed that diesel power. It was lacking a bit of power, so all I wanted to do is grab a bit more power out of it um, just to go touring basically and explore Australia. Lovely. So Dee, you told me before you really like taking it off-road. Tell us, where are your favourite places to get away to? Yeah, absolutely. So I definitely like Fraser Island. That is a very nice break at the end of the year. Ever here, I tried to go for a week. Um, that's a very fun place. Glasshouse Mountains also have a lot of tracks to test out your four-wheel drive. Yeah. I like to go there and play in the mud a tiny bit. And then just some um, overall hip camp sites. Um, just over the weekends, I like to go and explore new places and see what Australia has to offer. Yeah, great. Dee, earlier this year, you actually came into this shop and spoke to myself. We had a chat about the importance. The Pajero, being a 2006, done 250,000 kilometers the importance of having the maintenance before doing the performance. So we spoke about things, the importance of having the injectors, the manifold being clean. And talk to us about this vehicle and what you did, because we just did the tune on this vehicle, but you had done the maintenance before you came to see us. Yeah, so when I actually went out and looked for a car, and because it had high kilometres on there, I asked whether you know the maintenance has been done. So luckily the previous owner has done the manifold clean, the valve clearances, yes. timing chain guide, which is very important for the 3.2. And it can be expensive too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And they also um, did the injectors, uh, which was you know a must. So I was very glad. I think that Friday I rattled you a bit when you came in here because you were like, <laughs> The injectors and the price of doing injectors, they're not cheap. Yeah, not cheap, not cheap at all. So yeah, when he said, no, it has been done, I was very glad. So um, yeah, I was just, you know, happy to go forward and let you guys inspect it and go from there. So we've spoken about all the maintenance side of things which you took care of, but on top of that, you've done some nice upgrades to the vehicle. Talk us through from the front. I can see you've got an upgraded front mount intercooler on it. Yeah, definitely. So the standard intercooler on the Bajero is set quite low, yes. just under like, what do you call it, just behind the standard bash plate. Yes. So when you're gonna hit that off-road, you're gonna smash in your intercooler, it's gonna leak, you're gonna have problems. So that's why I decided, no, just go front mount, um, right. get more air in, helps with the temperatures. Efficiency so, is so. absolutely a key with the intercooler, so yeah. nice modification. Very happy of that, yeah, definitely. And what else? Um, so bigger radiator, that helped a tiny bit with the um, coolant temperature. It used to set at 90 degrees, now at 80. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, snorkel as well. Um, that's that's very nice going through, you know, <laughs> river crossings and all that sort of things. Um, but yeah, apart from that, not not too much else. Yeah. yeah and two inch lift on it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So two inch lift on it. Yeah. Uh, bigger tires, yes. 32 inch. Yeah. Um, that's more than enough, I would say. Just a roof rack if I want to throw camping chairs on there. Um, things like that. Um, still want to get rock sliders. Um, but yeah, that's on the to-do list. Yeah. So you can find a lot of your stuff on your own. You've got a YouTube page as well. It's Budget 4x4 Life. Yeah, definitely. Budget 4x4 Life. Uh, just work on my car, doing modifications, uh, go out camping. Uh, just some Pajero content, basically. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, unreal. We'll actually pop that in the um, description below so you can actually check out these details of the car and the build as well. Thank you so much. When we got your vehicle in, like we do with any other vehicle at Ultimate Diesel Training, really important part of our tuning process is that we make sure the car's in good mechanical order. So it's great that you've done all those things like the manifold being cleaned, the injectors have been replaced, you know, timing chain checks have all been done as well. We still do checks in the workshop to make sure the car's in good order. What we found when we ran your car up in the dyno, as you got the phone call, it was down in power. So what that led to us is doing a bit further diagnosis as to why it was down in power, a workshop mechanics found that your actual catalytic converter was blocked and that's why the car was so down on power. So obviously we got that rectified, fixed it. Um, was it correct in saying your car had something like a 60% gain? Yeah, it was insane. When I saw the numbers, I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. Um, obviously I didn't notice it was lacking power at first, being, yeah. being stopped. Um, so after that massive increase, it just went like a rocket. So yeah. I'm so glad. Yeah, it's improved dramatically. So, yeah. Yeah. so 
I suppose just to take you know some of them out your customers so they've got a good understanding. The importance of doing that inspection, you know, you didn't even recognise you had a problem with it. Mm. Us seeing vehicles day in day, we can see some of those problems and identify and rectify them because we're not going to tune a car that's got a mechanical issue before that. It's important that the car's in good mechanical order and then we go forward and, and custom tune it. You mentioned, you know, and I saw a bit of a smile on your face when you drove the car out. Obviously, you know, we get about 30 to 40% gain out of the Pajero 3.2 litre engines in, in roughly power and torque. Your car's gone 60. You must have had a massive improvement when you put your foot on the accelerator and took off. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was really good just feeling that instant torque. Um, yeah. Like, it had like turbo lag, like yeah. very bad. Um, but man, the, what, the tune made a big difference. So yeah. put your foot down and off you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you also mentioned me one thing that I know is a hot topic right now. How did this car fare? Obviously it had a blockage in the exhaust and obviously you've done some maintenance things with it as well. What was the vehicle like on the fuel economy? Because right now the Bowser's really taking it out of our hip pocket. Um, so it's been definitely a big improvement. Yeah. Um, it used to be 14 litres per 100. That's pretty high. That's high for a shorty as well. I was like, oh, this is yeah, no good. Um, so I didn't really understand why, because I did all the maintenance, put fuel doctor in, that didn't help. So I was like, no, got to get it tuned. And now it's sitting at 10 on the highway wow. and city 12. So I'm happy with that. Great. That's fine. D, thanks for sharing your experience with your vehicle and what it was like after we tuned it. Yes. And some of those hurdles we got through to get the end result with some great gains in power and torque for your vehicle. Guys, if you're looking to improve the performance of your diesel vehicle, this is what we specialise in here at Ultimate Diesel Tuning. So give us a call or drop in one of our performance centres in Brisbane, Gold Coast and Melbourne. And share in the comments below your experience after you've had your vehicle custom tuned with us at Ultimate Diesel Tuning. But make sure you subscribe to Ultimate Diesel Tuning on YouTube.